Here's the thing. Every telescope that's looked at 3 Eye Atlas so far has shown us one piece of the puzzle. But this one? This is different. ESA's XMM Newton just captured the object in X-ray light, and suddenly we're seeing activity no optical camera could ever show. Take a look at this frame. That red glow in the center? That's not reflected sunlight. That's real X-ray emission, produced when high-speed particles from the solar wind crash into gases streaming off 3 Eye Atlas. Blue marks empty space with almost no X-rays. Red marks where this thing is actively interacting with the solar wind. And that thin black horizontal line through the middle is just a detector gap, not a physical feature. What makes this important is simple. Every telescope so far, Hubble, Webb, SphereX, even the Mars missions, has been giving us optical or infrared views. Great for dust, great for water vapor. But X-rays? They let us see something else entirely. ESA's XMM Newton is sensitive to gases that barely show up anywhere else, hydrogen, nitrogen, and other light molecules that are almost invisible to optical and ultraviolet cameras. So this glow isn't just pretty, it's a chemical fingerprint. And this matters because scientists have been asking the same question since Oumuamua passed by. What exactly are interstellar objects made of? Some groups even suggested exotic ices, things like molecular hydrogen or nitrogen that would evaporate instantly near our sun. You can't test that with normal imaging, but X-ray scattering? That's finally a way in. Right at the center, the glow peaks sharply. That's the densest region of outflowing gas interacting with the solar wind. It tells us the object isn't quiet. Something is being released, and at a level strong enough to light up in low-energy X-rays tens of millions of kilometers away. The fact that XMM Newton saw this clearly for almost 20 hours straight means the signal isn't noise and it isn't a glitch. It's persistent, it's structured, and it adds a new layer to everything we thought we understood about 3 Eye Atlas so far. So now the real question becomes, what combination of gases could create an X-ray signature like this, and how does it connect to what Webb, Hubble, Psyche, Maven, and Spherex have all been picking up over the past few months. Because if these observations line up, we might finally get our first chemical blueprint of an interstellar object. Here's the thing. We now have two X-ray views of 3i Atlas, and they're not showing the same structure. They're revealing two different layers of activity around the object. On the left is ESA's brand new XMM Newton X-ray image. It shows 3i Atlas as a compact red glow, a tight, concentrated pocket of low-energy X-rays. This is the region where the solar wind is hitting the escaping gases head-on, producing the strongest, most intense interaction. Now look at the right side. This is XRSM's wide-field soft X-ray view. The scale is completely different. The circular region marked at 5 arc minutes already spans around 400,000 kilometers, and the full structure stretches nearly 3 million. Instead of a single bright core, XRSM sees a huge, uneven cloud of activity spreading around the object as it moves. What this really means is that these two telescopes aren't contradicting each other. They're showing two layers of the same phenomenon. XMM Newton isolates the core impact zone, while XRSM reveals the full extent of the surrounding X-ray envelope. Put together, they give us the clearest picture yet of how 3i Atlas interacts with the solar wind, and how big this thing's influence actually is. So that's the side-by-side -side story, a compact X-ray core from XMM Newton, and a sprawling multi-million kilometer envelope from XRism. Two very different views, one strange interstellar visitor. What do you make of this new official image of 3i Atlas? Let me know in the comments, I read everything. And if you're into updates like this, hit like, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps the channel grow.